Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to set up custom DNS records for Namecheap. So the first thing you have to do is log into your Namecheap account. In the dashboard here, you will see all the details of domains available in your account. So select the domain and click on manage. Now in the main domain tab, here you will see this option of name servers. If you click on this drop down button here, you will see three options Namecheap Basic DNS, Namecheap Web Hosting DNS and Custom DNS. Now if you want to set custom DNS records to point your domain to your server IP or VPS, Shopify store or some other product service then you will have to use the Namecheap Basic DNS option. Or if you bought Namecheap Hosting and you want to point your domain to the Namecheap Web Hosting server then you have to select the second option and third option custom DNS will be used if you bought shared hosting for some other hosting provider like Hostgator, Bluehost, SiteGround or any other service provider who have provided you a list of two name server domains. It will be like ns1.ns1.something.com and ns2.something.com. Okay. In that case, you can use the third option and then click on this tick icon to save all your changes and similarly you can do it for the Namecheap web hosting DNS and for the custom DNS records select Namecheap basic DNS and then click on this tick mark here to save this option and then after saving it go to this tab advanced DNS here you will see this options from DNS templates you can select on this drop down button here and if you want to point your Namecheap domain to your Shopify store, Namecheap has made it very easy. You can simply select this template and then click on this tick mark. Now, if you already have some records, I would recommend you to first take a screenshot or some way to back up these records and only then uh, apply any changes. So for your Shopify store, either you can use this DNS template option or you can use the manual option, which I will show you now. In the host record section, you will see all these different type of records, A record, C name record, TXT record, which are used most and the last is MX record. In this example, I'm going to point my Namecheap domain to my VPS IP and for that, I need to set up these records. So I will go to the Namecheap here, website here. So to add a A record, what you have to do is click on this option, add new record. And then from here select a record and in host name type at the rate it means the domain and then in IP address you can paste the IP address provided by your hosting service or any other service provider then click on this tick icon here the changes will be saved okay and now to add a CNAME record again do the same process Select CNAME record from here in host name. For example, I want my domain www. to point to my main domain. So it is a subdomain. Okay. For that, you will have to add a CNAME record and this will point to the main domain. For Shopify store, it will be a little different. It will be the subdomain provided by Shopify. It is like shop dot something shopify dot com. Uh, you will have to pay, paste the exact domain which is provided by your service provider. Click on tick icon to save any changes. Now to add a txt record, again the process is very simple. From here you can select txt and in text you can, uh, for example, I will select Google analytics and then you will have to paste the verification value then again click on this tick mark to save any changes similarly you can add other records also for example this record here it is it will be used for ipv6 addresses just like for ipv4 address we use the simple a record for ipv6 we will use this record okay and there there are other records also so depending on the record required, you can use the same process and create that. 
And another very important record is the MX record, which is important to make sure that all the emails sent to you your, at your business domain email address, custom domain email address uh, reaches you. So for that Namecheap interface is a little different. You will not find the MX record option here if you see. So for that, what you have to do is just scroll down and you will see this option here. Mail settings from here. If it is selected to email forwarding or something, you have to select custom MX. If you're using Namecheap private hosting, then you will have option for that. And there are some other options also. So we will select custom MX. And then from here, you can just click on this add new record option here. Then you can add the record details as provided by your service provider and then save the changes. You can see an example of the MX record I have set here. In the host name, it is at the rate value is this. This is the priority. And then the time to live, I have set it to automatic. Um, unless it is very specifically provided by your service provider, then you can change the time to live. And after this, just save everything. After making all the changes, if you want to make sure that your DNS record got updated or not, you can visit this website and paste your domain name here. Then from here, select the type of record. You have all these type of record. And if you want to check the name servers, then also you can select here. Then click on this search icon here. So you can see this is my current name servers. And if I want to check what is my A record, I will click on the search icon here. You will see this is the A record and it is the same as my IP I have set. So it is working properly. Sometimes the changed DNS records are not immediately reflected. So you may try after 10 to 15 minutes and you can also select this refresh option and you can select here 60 seconds. So it will automatically refresh every 60 seconds and you will see the updated record. So if you found this video useful, give this video a like and post your feedback in the comments. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.